All right, the plan for today is to explore the new beta content. To go find the biomes, to go find spells, to go do all of that. So to do that, we need a crazy run. This will probably be a longer, like whatever, series. Hopefully it's going to be a longer run, unless I screw up. So we need to plan with our perks for taking things that are good for the long term. Maybe doing parallel dimensions. Who knows? Okay, don't light myself on fire because there was a lantern in the sky above me. Where was it? Like right there? Oops. Where's that gold from the Slimer? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. So we're taking this nice and slow. That's what I'm telling myself. We'll see. Last video, I got my best speed run ever. I'm tempted to try and cut that up into a Noida short, to a YouTube short. Either for YouTube, for TikTok, for both. Ooh, that is a lot of orbals. That's totally worth a bomb. That's totally worth a bomb. There will be fire. Oh no, it had polymorph in it. Listen, we're probably fine. Give me my gold. I got polymorph to get that piece of gold. We can just fly as this character? Weird. Okay, we were totally fine. What could have gone wrong? Nothing. Don't do that, you jerk. Don't let polymorph land on my head either. Okay. I don't really want that one to get polymorphed because it's worth 60 gold. Hmm. It's also causing chaos. Chaos can be fun. It can also be deadly. There's another fire thing. Okay, I cannot aim at all. That fire thing just jumped down. I'll take a blood flask. We got three decent flasks. Not that I ever actually use them. You're gonna light even more stuff on fire. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I didn't mean to hit my head there. We're fine. We're fine. Those enemies aren't that scary until they hit you and then they're very scary. So that's 120 potential gold sitting over there if I can get water kills on both of those. Crap, this is bad. This is very toxic. I think this peat will burn too. Hmm. It totally will kind of want that gold. I kind of want you to jump forward into the water. Okay, that's my gold. You burned up all of the water and managed to trap me. Hmm. Okay. This is not my best gameplay. I don't need to get polymorphed. That was so lucky. There's a lot of concentrated mana here. Slimer, huh? So yeah, we really want perks that are good for the long term. I also want to kill these things. Okay, it's dying. You're gonna end up lighting that peat that I just threw through, through on fire, maybe. Maybe you won't. If you could just die, that would be spectacular. This jerk. There it goes. Alright. Don't get polymorphed. Go get my 60 gold. And start to fill up my flask again. Although pure water would be a lot better. Hmm. There's still one more right there. 
Let's not attract that thing's attention. I think I just attracted that thing's attention. Break that. Okay, cool. Let it burn. Let's go fill up on water. Ooh, a chest. That chest could be dangerous. But it's not. Ooh. Some of the gold fell out that way. Cool. Still doing all right for HP. Not great, but all right. Okay, that's a lot of zombie dogs. And a Slimer. And a Shotgunner, which can do actual damage. Unlike all the other enemies. You have a wand. Okay, light it all on fire. Let the wood burn. Ah, but I want that gold. Oh, but I'm oily. I am oily. No! I forgot that it had a wand. Okay, how are we doing? 2 HP, not the best. Alright, now I feel like I should try and go down. Now I feel like I should try and go down. Luckily, 481 gold is decent. 2 HP, not the best. Let's get a little bit of water on me. Is there anything cool up here before I go down? Let's try not to die. I don't want to be oily. Or toxic. But, bloody would be okay. Trying to be super safe. To be super safe, I would like to be dunked in water and have a full flask. Should I go to the right? No. I still have one bomb. 24 fire bolts. Ooh, I see a shotgunner in there with a treasure chest, which I kind of want. Ooh, but it's in with an acid monster. Is it worth trying to get with an acid monster? I could blow it all up using one bomb. Okay, just get rid of the toxic. Right now I have 2 HP, so I can't risk, like, anything that might kill me. As I consider doing things that could totally kill me. But they could also not kill me and reward me. That acid monster is gonna die. It had max HP. Totally worth it. Don't die to an orbital. That would be stupid. Do I need this firestone? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Hmm. <laughs> Once again, being super careful. Two zombie dogs. That's another thing that it would be stupid to die to. One zombie, zombie dog was eating the other. Cannibalism. 548. We are good. I did not realize you gain 10 permanent HP when you pick up that heart. It took me 382 videos before Lujin commented that. And I learned something new. Ah, it's kind of funny. For the speed runs, that would have been important. The mana charge speed on an 8 capacity with okay cooldowns and a spark bolt 
Ooh. Or the mana charge speed. But this one has chainsaws. Chainsaws are like game winning. This one's also decent, but it's not in shuffle. Or it is shuffle. So there's two that are interesting. I don't have enough mana to get each. To get both. These two. How is this wand? Not great, not terrible. Ooh, this wand is actually decent. Surprisingly decent. I could just put two chainsaws on here with a spark bolt. Hmm. These are not very good. More hatred could be okay. Would I take more hatred? Or would I reroll? Rerolls get expensive quick. I think I'm taking the chainsaws for now. That 140 wand. Oh, wait, I can afford it. Okay, never mind. We're getting both. Unless this wand is good. It's not. Okay, easy decision. How is that that bad? Okay. How are you still that bad? Recharge time. These only give recharge. Ah, it's still. It's really bad. It's disappointing how bad that is. Hmm. So these drain zero mana. These drain one mana a piece. That is disappointing. What does this look like? This doesn't have the mana. I guess that's the best? Is it? I could just put three spark bolts, but not really. Okay, what if instead of that... 245. Do the spark bolt. Put this inside of here. Put this inside of here. Put this inside of here. Give it a heavy spread. Feels decent. And I have a chainsaw not in this wand. And I have three wands that I can give up very easily. All right, I think that is reasonable at least. Now the big question is, do I take more hatred or do I just save this to come back? Or extra item in Holy Mountain. I'm just gonna take that. If we're in this for the long term, Maybe that is good. Kaboom. My damage feels good enough for this second area. Am I doing any fungal shift stuff? I don't think I am. That does sound kind of fun, but if we're trying to have this be a long-term run, the risks of it like completely ruining the run are way too high way too high not you guys was that a wand pedestal it was who took the wand oh and a chest I see the wand I also see fumes that tell me that there's now toxic rock down there my gold no give me that gold you jerks not you two mixed together okay Okay. What do we got? Good cooldowns. Too bad it's only three slots. It's better than this one. Those are really good cooldowns. Kaboom. 
What do we got here? We have garbage. Again, with decent cooldowns, though. But complete garbage. Not... A whole bunch of lava. Those are bad enemies to fight with them above me. Those are bad enemies to fight above me, and then I go fight them again above me. I need digging. Digging would be good. I do have a little bit of digging. Very little. And it's inside of my spark bolt with trigger? Yeah, with trigger. But, if there's gold like up here, there's gold up above me. Can I get it to drop down? Not in a timely manner. Look at that. We just got gold. It only took forever. 181 gold. We're on our way. Even if I'm not fungal shifting, the fungal area is still kind of good. There's a lot of wands over there. Especially if I'm at high HP. Which I currently am. We'll see how long that remains the case. What is on this second one? Fire. Fire is on the second one. Sometimes there's good stuff up here. Okay, I'm nearing the fungal area, unless it's different on the beta. Nope. No, it is not different. Okay. Don't do stupid things getting greedy for gold. That said, there will be a good amount of gold from these. I care more about the wand, which I can't currently get to. In order to get to that wand. No, stop, stop. In order to get to that wand. Not good. Bam. Free gold. Okay, not so free. Almost free gold. I did not get any closer to that wand. Okay, but there might be ways to get to that wand. Anyways. If I could have blown up an explosive box right there, it would have been easy. Oh, what are you doing here? I can make it through that. That thing has a helmet, so it's tough. Okay, I want my gold. What do we get? Ooh, okay. Speed up is really good. Energy orb is actually decent, too. And the mana charge. Okay. Overall, this wand is just decent. I would like to change that to be my number two wand. It's an expensive spell, but I can dig now. Being able to dig is pretty nice. That's my gold. Darn it. Was that an... Rosia. I think, oh no, acid is bad. 95 HP. 
That one looks like Polymorph, but this looked like, oh no, it's Flummox. Looked like it could have been Ambrosia, it was hard to tell. Right, that shoots out a second one. Slime Potion. Slime is much less deadly than Polymorph would have been. Okay, just kill the stupid thing. 88 HP. We're still fine. I can keep exploring. Okay, explosions. Why was there a nuke? 1 HP. I saw the nuke. Oh god. What is this game? You cannot give enemies nukes. You are cheating. I have 1 HP. I can't go... I can't stay in the fungus area with 1 HP. So we now know that there's a wand with a nuke. I have 510 gold. Let's be careful. So I was at 2 HP in the first area. 1 HP in the second area. How much are we going to have? Assuming I make it to the third area. That's a pretty big assumption right now. But I'm going to be careful. Ish. I could be mining for gold. But this one doesn't have much mana. And I'm not getting all that much gold. All right. There's more gold right there, but there's also fire. Ooh, that's gold. I do want to see that wand. And I have ways to dig. It's a shuffle, but still. Ooh, it has freeze. Okay, this one goes away. Is the wand any good? It kind of is. Sadly, it's a shuffle, but freeze. Freeze could be huge. I just have to live now. We got speed up and freeze. If I want to live. Is there any max HP in here? Digging is a good way to live. Digging allows me to stay fairly safe and like kind of scout out an area before they can hit me. But it can also lead to me getting trapped if I can't dig out like a second entrance. All right, do I think that this area is gonna be clear? Maybe. That was my own shot coming back at me. There's a little bit of gold. Okay. There was more gold, but one HP. And I already have 843. All right. Reduce recharge can be pretty good. A second heavy spread, if you've already got one, two of them is kind of better. Heavy spread. Hmm. Stainless armor. Okay, extra item in Holy Mountain. What does this mean? Does this mean that there's an extra item over here? It does, it doesn't mean extra perk. Energy orb. Okay, I think we're taking stainless. Stainless is one of the ways to win the video game if we get parallel dimensions. Energy orb is one of the ways to win the video game. Circle of water. Blood, 250. There's two of these bloods. Bloods, I think are a way to win the game. Cluster Bolt. I don't think I've ever had that before. There goes a bunch of my gold, but I can dig. 
I just keep telling myself that I can dig. I don't need death crosses. Don't need these. I do need freeze. Do need this. Makes a projectile release a cluster of explosive bolts upon hitting a wall. Very specifically, a wall. That is kind of cool, especially if I had explosive immunity, but I don't. What is the mana cost? 30. Explosion radius, explosion damage. It seems like it could be cool, maybe, but it, I don't know. I don't see it being particularly useful. This one, mana drain of three. Mana charge speed, 245. I think this is when I get rid of you. Get rid of you. <laughs> Put a triple in place of this one. It's not really necessary. Double, double. Get rid of the chainsaw. Do I get rid of this chainsaw? I think so. Double spark bolt. Put freezing onto it. That, or else put a triple on here and put the chainsaw back in place of this one. I get to cast four spells. That slows it down quite a bit. And I don't really need the digging of chainsaw. So no. Stick to triple with this. Why did it feel like I was faster before? Probably because I was. Why was I sh shooting faster before? Huh. I could put all of this inside of a spark bolt. That eats too much mana. Double, double. That feels pretty good. I feel like I should be doing this differently, but I don't know how or why. Like, is there a way to do free wrapping? There has to be. I have a chainsaw right here. Triple cast, chainsaw. That does a double. So then all I think I need is something with no mana cost. This isn't no mana cost. That's actually 12 mana cost. That would wrap around. Is that wrong?
Why would I do that? How does that not reduce it to zero? I have all of the reduction things ever. This one, 0 0.27, 0 0.65. You too reduce it by a ton. You reduce it by even more. These are not inside of a chunk. What is going on? It feels like this should reduce it to zero. It's going around twice. Oh, and one of the times it's just doing the chain. No, it's doing Right, it's casting this with this inside, but then I thought it would immediately cast the chainsaw, which it kind of does. Shouldn't this do two spark bolts? I guess not. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. What is new? Where's the triple cast? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so what is going on? It's casting all of these, and then sometimes it's just casting a spark bolt. Because, who knows? Okay, that's burning through all of the mana. burning through all of the mana. If I take this freeze off. So, I'm just trying to understand what's going on. This casts instantly. This casts this plus this, which goes to this, which wraps around to this, which casts instantly, which casts this. These don't do any damage, really. But they cast very quick, without doing any damage. If I had more mana... If I take this off... This one costs less mana than this one does. And it does the same thing in this case. So having a heavy spread wrap into a chainsaw is pretty good. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. That was what I meant to do. Okay, wait a second. This feels like we're onto something. Machine gun feels decent. I think I'm happy with that. Now, which wand is next best? 100 mana charge speed. Decent delays. Better delays. It is a shuffle. This is a shuffle. I think... Is it the one with the more slots? Not sure. I think I'm happy with that. Is there anything else good here? Circle of water, would I pay 110 for that? For what, just to have it clogging up my items? I think I'm good. All right, I'm happy with that. Next time, we're gonna continue down into the third area, and this time, I'm not gonna get down to one HP. We're gonna do better. So yeah, that does it for this episode.
Thanks for watching.